about this stress filled day. Baby on the way, my bills to pay. That's why you drink time to rain. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and if this is your first time stopping by, please subscribe. So I feel like I have not picked up a camera in so long. So the last video that I posted, I even had that pre-recorded from like a week ahead. So it's been a couple of weeks since I actually sat down and filmed a video and it feels very weird. <laughs> so I thought the perfect video to film right now would be a life updates video because I feel like so much has changed in the past few months. Like life is just a lot different, like not much has changed but a lot of things just feel different so i feel like it would be a great time to just do this video so i asked my instagram the other day if they had any questions that they wanted to know about any major changes in my life life updates stuff like that so people asked a lot of good questions so i didn't want it to be a boring video where i would just sit here and answer questions so i'm just gonna do like a very natural makeup look and show you some new makeup products that i bought as well just so that this is a little more interactive so since this is already a chit chat video might as well get right into it so without further ado let's begin this video so before i even get into any specific questions that people have asked i'm just gonna do like a very quick update for like general things that are going on so my room flooded in the hurricane so it honestly happened so fast like i wasn't even prepared at all like this was Hurricane Ida, so it was originally like really big in Louisiana, but it moved throughout the East Coast and yeah, it really hit us hard in New York. Like so many places flooded, train stations, people actually died in this hurricane, which is really, really scary. Like a lot of people just were not prepared for this at all. So yeah, I was literally in my room. I didn't even know that anything was happening. I was sitting right here in my bed and my dad comes running down to the basement and he's like, your room is flooding. Like, are you in there? Like he was literally calling out for me and I'm like oh my god like I look on the floor and water is just like rushing in like so quickly not a lot of time to grab stuff like luckily I was able to grab like my computer or um yeah stuff like like anything that was on the floor anything that I could think of in the moment but when something like that happens you don't really think let me grab all my stuff you're just trying to get out so my camera ended up flooding which is really sad like yeah like it just it doesn't turn on anymore yeah so i'm definitely gonna have to save up a lot of money to buy a new one and yeah you know what it's okay like i'm alive i'm well my whole family's okay i did lose some stuff i had to like repurchase a few things but for the most part i didn't lose too much but yeah the camera is probably the most valuable thing that i lost but who knows maybe this is a blessing in disguise because i can save up over the next few months and buy a much better camera i really love the one that i did have it was a canon g7x i believe um yeah the g7x mark ii something like that i'll put it on the screen if it's not correct but yeah that was the camera i had for a while and it worked really well had it for a year and a half but she's dead now so it's fine though everything is great um the biggest thing i also had to take out the carpeting in my room because all of it of course got flooded but i was able to order an even cuter carpet from etsy which i'm thinking about doing like a new room tour because i filmed one at least a year ago like last winter and I feel like I have changed a few things in my room so yeah maybe eventually I'm gonna do like a, an updated one to show you some of the new pieces that I bought for my room because since I did graduate from college I have like changed a few things up so right now I'm actually using my phone to record so that's gonna be probably my main camera for now until I can get a better one listen it will do it's better than nothing so yeah even these questions that I'm looking at or the questions that I'm answering I have to look at my laptop to be able to access the questions but yeah, that is pretty much what's happening. I forgot I'm supposed to actually be doing makeup right now, but for my eyebrows, I've been using the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia, which I actually was using this, or I've actually used this in the past, like years ago, but it finished and I just never bought it again. But I really do like it. I'm using the shade Ebony, which I think is pretty dark, which I love because a lot of these like brow things sometimes or like brow pomades are just too light for my skin tone. So this is what i've been enjoying so far but on a much much brighter note i have some really really exciting news so i got a breast reduction recently and you don't even know how good it feels to say those words like i've been dreaming of having this procedure done for me for so many years like i can't even explain to you how many years like i just didn't feel confident in my body like i just like I had the back pain, like it was just a lot. Shopping for bras was also really stressful for me. 
like I just hated everything about it and like I just couldn't wait and yeah like this year I don't know what it was maybe it was because things were just changing for me or I just figured like it's finally time you stop wishing for something and trying to do something about it so yeah I went in for a consultation and long story short here i am so i think i'm gonna film a separate q a for that one because i'm sure there's a lot of women out there who would like to know more about this procedure and just have a lot of questions before doing it i know i had many questions before doing the procedure so i do want to film that video just to give people some guidance and just tell them about my experience so yeah stay tuned for that but right now i'm still in my recovery mode so i'm about like halfway into recovery so i still have a little bit more to go but so far everything is good, everything is healing fine. I'm just taking it easy, not doing too much lifting or too much like exercise. So I can't even go to the gym, which is like, that's been actually pretty sad because I feel like I've been so consistent with the gym, but it's fine, like I'll get back in in a few weeks. But yeah, that is really one of the most exciting things that's happening for me right now. All right, so before I start answering questions that people ask me on my Instagram, I just wanna talk about the new product that I've been using, which is this skin enhancing tint from this brand called Ami Kole. It's actually black owned, she's African. I believe she's Senegalese, which is amazing. She's also New York based, which I was like, okay, New York, African, like, it's just a lot of reasons why I wanted to support. So, so far I've been loving it. I haven't used it a lot just because I haven't really been wearing makeup a lot since I'm recovering from my surgery and I'm pretty much home like all the time now. Like I have no life anymore. <laughs> but if you've been watching my videos this year, you know that I've been loving skin tints. So I've been using the Fenty one and I really wanted to add another one to my collection because I don't really wear foundation unless it's like a special occasion or things like that so i love natural makeup products so i have this in the shade rich 2 which i think is a pretty good match for my skin tone i will say i wish it was a little bit more orange just because i love orange foundations i feel like it complements my undertone but once it blends i feel like it blends pretty perfectly it just like literally melts into your skin it feels natural you look natural but you also have that little blurring effect on you so yeah, this has been really, really nice. So one of the most frequent questions that I got was, how has post-grad life been? Like, you know, has it been good, bad? Like, what's going on? And let me tell you, it has not been the best. So I'm not even gonna sit here and sugarcoat it and say like, I've been having the best time at post-grad. Like, it's just, like, I understand what people mean when they say post-grad depression now, because it's just, like there's so much changing and I feel like my entire life being a student has been my identity like you go to kindergarten you go to middle school high school college like I've just been in school like pretty much my entire life and now I'm just in this weird limbo where I don't know what's going on like a lot of days I feel sad confused lost like I don't really know what to do and of course I've been keeping myself busy with like internships and stuff but you know, it, I, I still don't know where my career is heading and I feel like I'm that kind of person who needs to have my whole life planned and I just always feel the need to have it together and because I don't really know what's happening next for me or I don't really know where I'm going, like I feel like that's been giving me a lot of anxiety lately. Just a lot of, you know, just feeling sad and it's different now, like I'm away from friends, I'm away from everything that I know. Like I'm just home all the time now, like it's just been really hard for me some days. So yeah, it's been a really big adjustment, like it's just it's not the best but i'm getting better every day like i feel like i'm slowly starting to figure out where i'm going and like what i'm trying to do with myself so of course this summer i had a, a marketing internship which i feel like i mentioned on this channel maybe once or twice and now i'm taking digital marketing courses so i figure since i am kind of shifting into a new field that that's a little bit different from what i did in undergrad it's really important to have some technical skills so that's what i'm doing right now like i'm not just home i'm pretty much a student again in a way or just like taking it easy, taking classes, learning, trying to figure out where I'm going next. But I'm really hoping that in the next few months or by the end of the year, I'll have, you know, a solid job, like something that's full time, something that's really consistent, something that challenges me, that really gives me room for creativity, which is something that I actually love about the marketing field, which is what even made me consider it, is that I realized I'm not the kind of person who just likes things to be, you know, just set in the same all the time. Like I hate, everything that's uniform i just enjoy experiences that give me room to change things up like i don't want a life where every day it's nine to five and i'm doing the same thing i really want something that gives me room to just you know experiment try new things learn new things so i love that about marketing and it's also a field that's really easy to like move up in so of course you can start out as an associate and you can easily work your way up over the years like to a director and 
yeah, I just feel like it's a really promising uh, field. A lot of people are into marketing now. A lot of companies, you need marketing literally if you want your company to go anywhere. So I feel like it's a really good opportunity for me. But a similar question was, what are the good parts of postgrad? And of course, no exams, no homework. I mean, undergrad cooked me. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, my school was just a very rigorous school. I mean, any college you go to is probably rigorous, but my school um, definitely like a lot of or at least my major i would say i had to do a lot of research a lot of writing like senior year was really awful for me like academic wise i still ended up doing well because i'm just that person who no matter what i'm gonna try my best to like, get through a situation but there were so many days where i just couldn't sleep like i was literally falling apart because of how stressed that was like i would not go back to that at all like if anything the only thing that i miss about college is obviously my friends being so close to them you know just the lifestyle of it but in terms of academics i don't want to do it again so i feel like everything i said kind of answered multiple questions like what are my career plans um like what am i intending to do post-grad now so yeah that was like five questions in one so hopefully that answered a couple of people's questions so this question asked how was my summer so i actually had a pretty good summer at least the first half of it was really active like i was trying so many new restaurants i was just outside like all the time and I have no regrets like it was so so much fun like I genuinely enjoyed this summer I think there was also that sense of freedom from not having any college anymore and like I had an internship I really like so in general I had a pretty decent summer like the second half was a little slow like I stopped doing as much but the first half I was definitely going out a lot and just trying new things just being free and enjoying New York City so I really really enjoyed my summer so another question that kind of builds off of that is do I like living in New York City and I really do like I know living in New York is a hit or miss like some people love it some people hate it but I actually really love it like I just feel like there's everything here like there's just like New York literally has everything you could think of there is nothing here that I can't find um, whether that's jobs like a lot of the jobs even in marketing even when i was doing my political science uh degree like anything international relations like everything you could think of there's something like here in new york for that especially in the field that i'm interested in i also love fashion i love makeup i love skincare and new york is a really big place for that like just walking down the street i get so much fashion inspiration i see people wearing the most amazing outfits or hairstyles or it's just such an inspirational place especially if you're a creative and you just want to you know build and find new ideas like living in new york is the perfect place for that obviously i have a different experience with living in new york in that i'm a native here like i was born and raised in new york i live with my family so it's a lot different for someone who were to maybe move to new york from somewhere else because it is really expensive like i'm not paying rent <laughs> but but if i had to live on my own it would definitely be hard to afford you know unless i had a really really good job and even that is pretty hard still but i would love to live in new york one day like my own apartment in the city like somewhere where i'm just thriving with new creative ideas and stuff but of course i'll be in the future maybe when i have a better or maybe when i'm in a better space in my career i keep forgetting that i'm actually supposed to be doing makeup but i have this new powder this patrick star powder that i just bought um it's called turn up the base and i just went into sephora the other day because my powder got flooded so that was nice like something told me it got flooded but then i realized like when the mirror of my foundation had like fog on it that there was moisture in my powder so i immediately threw it out thank goodness i didn't really put it on my face but yeah i had to get a new one and the sephora worker told me that this one is great for holding all day and that the shade range is pretty good it matches a lot of undertones so i haven't tried it out yet this is literally gonna be my first time opening it since buying it so first impression the packaging is really really great like this is so pretty like this looks luxurious and then this is how the powder looks so i think it's really really pretty um the shade definitely looks like it'll match me well but we will just have to see wow this is actually a really pretty powder like just off of first impressions it definitely just feels very light on your face like i just love how it blends right in too like it doesn't leave a cast on my face or anything like that like it just makes it look very smooth and airbrushed all right so so far i would definitely recommend this powder i mean i'm gonna try it a little more to see but just based off of first impressions i really really like this i'm just using this fancy bronzer now because this is one of my favorite bronzers beside my gucci one but the next two questions i'm gonna kind of combine together so it asks how are you doing or how do you keep sane and i was kind of touching on it before but i have not <laughs> been that sane like i just feel like i've been really struggling with um, adjusting to 
post-grad life like trying to find a career that i'm into trying to find a full-time job like it's been really hard and i'm honestly even considering studying therapy again so i feel like months ago i mentioned that i just tried out therapy because some of my friends recommended it and i feel like growing up i had this perception that therapy was like you could only go if everything was completely in shambles but anyone and everyone should go to therapy like it doesn't matter like we all have problems your problem you might think it's really small but it could be something that's constantly playing in your life and something as simple as well it's not simple but something like going and talking to a person who will give you the right resources and will give you the right coping mechanisms for certain things can literally change your life so i had a few sessions a couple of months ago and it just changed a lot for me it changed the way i respond to a lot of things and the way that i just handle pressure or anxiety or anything like that and yeah that was only a few sessions so i can only imagine how life could be for me if i was going consistently so i would really recommend for you and myself because i shouldn't be recommending if i'm not doing it as well but yeah i definitely want to get back into therapy just to learn how to cope with this post-grad life and learn just how to live in a different and changing time for myself so this question asks me what do i do to stay motivated and i think it's really hard to stay motivated sometimes when you're in a certain point in your life because things just don't like you can't find the the tunnel out if that makes sense like there's not like currently right now i don't really know where i'm going next so it's really hard to be motivated sometimes but when i am motivated the thing that keeps me going is having that idea of where i want to get like I'm someone who, I, if I want something, like I'm really gonna work hard for it. Like if I truly want something, even if I struggle to make it through, even if I'm crawling to the end of the finish line, like I'm just really gonna try my best. Because I feel worse in the end if I feel like the reason I didn't get something was because I didn't try hard enough. So one thing that's really been keeping me motivated lately is actually trying to get where I wanna get to. So taking these digital marketing courses, of course, I've been networking, trying to find um, open opportunities that companies have right now. Like just really trying to network with people who are already in those companies. Like I've been putting in work behind the scenes because I just realized if I wanna build a life that I want for myself, I'm gonna have to go for it. Like no one else can do it for me. It's really up to me to work with what I have around me and you know, milk it to the end. So that's kind of what's been keeping me motivated lately. But I definitely won't sit here and pretend like I'm always super like, you know, I wake up and I'm like, the day is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna do this, that, this, that. Like some days I just wanna stay in bed. Some days I feel like this is all hopeless. <laughs> like i hate i hate all of this but you know in the end it's really gonna pay off if i just keep pushing because that's what you got to do in life you either adapt or you die so so i think i got about two or three questions on this but this one asks what is my hair care routine so i actually got a really proper trim for the first time a couple of weeks ago like i've gotten only one professional trim before and i feel like i didn't really go to someone who really specializes in natural hair so they didn't really do much to my hair like they cut off an inch and that was it like there was no shaping like my hair for the most part didn't change that much so i was really starting to just realize how dry my hair was how like it would be hard to comb it sometimes and i just knew that it was probably because i didn't have a, a really good trim so i went to this natural hair salon in harlem which i found on instagram and i loved my experience there like it was so luxurious it's black owned of course but it was such a good experience like everything there was so professional my hairstylist really transformed my hair like even though she did cut off a lot of inches i was already prepared for that like i knew if i really wanted to have my hair flourishing again i would need to cut off a couple of inches which is okay for me because honestly i feel like your hair grows back faster and better anyways when you do a or when you get a good haircut so yeah i was in love with how she cut my hair like my hair finally has shape like right now it's not done so that's why i have my scarf on but like my hair finally has shape like that was something that i've always struggled with like as much as i love my natural hair i always felt like it looked really uneven in certain places but now everything just looks amazing like i took out my twist out today and my fro was like so uniform and it just looks so healthy my curls are flourishing like washing my hair has been easier like i genuinely think if you want to have a good healthy hair care routine you do have to get consistent trims at least three times a year maybe maybe four times but definitely every couple of months going into a professional and getting it really taken care of but in terms of actual hair care like what do i do all the time one thing that i've dramatically changed in my hair care routine is washing every week so i feel like for naturals we've been conditioned that we're not supposed to wash our hair all of the time which is so not true like that's actually very unhealthy for your hair i wash my hair at least once a week now and condition it not with the clarifying shampoo though because i don't want to dry it out but 
I use a moisturizing shampoo, so I use the Redken All Soft shampoo and conditioner and i love those products like every time i wash my hair it feels so moisturized it feels healthy clean it just looks shiny and yeah my hair is clean so if you really want to have a healthy hair care routine you need to always take care of your scalp because having a good and healthy scalp is the key to growing your hair out like i've really noticed that it's not the oils it's not the butters it's not all those things that are marketed to naturals it's really mostly just taking care of your scalp so making sure you're washing out the oils in it every week and conditioning it and making sure that it's moisturized through that conditioning and shampooing that's really what's going to help your hair but yeah i'm not a hair care professional like these are tips that i've gotten from um hair professionals that i follow on like twitter or um, on like other social medias or this is also what my hairstylist actually recommended to me as well making sure that i'm uh, cleansing my scalp at least once a week so that's what i've been doing so far i really have been noticing that my hair just doesn't rely on oil anymore to be moisturized like as long as i'm washing it consistently it's just always moisturized so yeah that's been my tip but i would say go to a hair professional get your own advice um yeah and see if it changes your hair in any way i'm pretty much almost done with this makeup routine like i'm not even doing anything special this usually takes me i would say no more than 10 minutes but obviously i'm being really really slow um so yeah we're almost done and i'm not really going step by step because i have a couple of makeup routine videos on my channel already that pretty much do all of this and talk about the products as well i'll try to maybe link some either in the description box below or somewhere on the screen so definitely check it out so my camera stopped recording this whole time <laughs> this is what i miss about my camera because i had a viewfinder but right now i'm using my iphone the back camera because i feel like the back camera is a lot better but yeah i cannot see when the video stops recording so yeah but luckily i didn't answer too many questions so i'm just gonna go over them again so this question asks are there any skincare or makeup uh products that i've been wanting to try lately and for makeup i can probably list so many like there are so many products that i've been wanting to try they're just money so for example pat mcgrath i love her brand like i've been wanting to try the shadows the lipsticks or lip glosses like i just genuinely believe her her brand just screams luxury beauty spice like i just love everything about it but yeah it's definitely a bit expensive so that is something i'm planning to get soon i also really really want to get the charlotte tilbury powder so that's the powder that i actually wanted to buy over the patrick star one but it is pretty expensive and i needed a powder immediately so i wanted to get something a little more affordable so yeah over time though i definitely want to save up for that one because people have just talked about how it makes you look flawless airbrush like no one has anything bad to say about that you know that powder so i'm really really excited to try that also the hourglass i think it's called like veil focus i can't remember exactly what the name is but i really want to try their setting spray i used to not really think that setting spray mattered that much but i noticed that certain setting spray really does like it really does hold your makeup well and it makes it photograph a lot better it just makes you look really put together throughout the day so i really want to invest in a good one and for skincare i really want to try uh the brand faded so faded topicals um i believe that's the name of the product it's black owned i believe which you all know i love supporting black owned businesses um but yeah i really want to try that people say that it's really great for hyperpigmentation and just making sure your skin um just really treating uh, dark spots and stuff like that so i definitely want to try that out eventually so i'm almost done now but this question asks what are some fall staples that everyone should have in their closet so i love leather boots like little booties i just love them i feel like that's what i wear all fall and winter so i have a black pair that i've loved for a while i got it from h&m a couple of years ago and then i have these nasty gal white leather boots that i got um last year i believe and i love that one i wore it for my birthday i've worn it a couple of times actually but yeah, I really, really want to get a chocolate brown color this year. Like, I've just been really loving the color brown, if it's not obvious in, like, all the clothes that I wear. But I love brown lately, so I really want to get a good pair of brown leather booties. And then the last question is, what is some advice that I have for someone who's starting a YouTube channel? I would just really recommend staying consistent. Like, that is really what's going to push you through getting some weeks where you have to film edit like having a goal in mind like i'm gonna post once or twice a week and trying to hold yourself accountable to that because there are many weeks that i don't feel motivated just because youtube a lot of times is a one-sided thing like you may put hours of energy into editing a video a thumbnail like there's a lot of work that goes behind it and you may not get a lot of response to it like maybe a certain video won't get as many views as you wanted or comments or yeah there's just a lot of times where it's a bit discouraging like there's definitely times where i had to question 
like am i good enough for this like am i doing something wrong like just feeling you know really discouraged from the response that you get so i would say the thing that has kept me consistent or motivated throughout is just holding myself accountable to a goal that i set so from the very beginning i told myself you have to post at least once a week and it's really pushed me to just constantly put those videos out so it's not even about the camera that you have it's not about any of that i feel like it's more about how much you're posting or how consistent you are because people will come back to your channel if they feel like they're gonna keep getting content if you're posting once every three months people may be less obligated to watch it or they may feel less inclined to watch it because maybe they don't know when they're gonna get the next video so yeah just stay consistent it's a little hard it's a lot hard sometimes but if you just stay consistent and hold yourself accountable then you can probably get through it so i picked up this setting spray from target the other day because i ran out of my morphe continuous one so this is the matte magic mist and set setting spray from elf so i think that is it for this video i answered as many questions as i could or i tried to combine as many as i could so hopefully you have a better understanding of where i'm at right now in life and hopefully if you're in the same position as me, this will give you some motivation that you are not alone because sometimes it does feel lonely, but there's probably millions of people who feel the same way that I feel right now. So that's mainly why I wanted to even share this video, just to give some support out there. We're all gonna get through this. You know, the people who just graduated in the middle of a pandemic, like we're all going through it, but you know, in the end, it's all gonna work out. So as always, I post videos every Monday at 3 p.m. So please put the bell notification on so you can know whenever I post. And I hope that everyone is staying safe, taking care of their mental health, and I'll see you in my next video.